the biggest thing <clears throat> is that um, originally our notions of validity were quite simplistic in a way. That the notion was, <clears throat> does the test measure what it's supposed to measure? And uh, can we use the scores to do very simple things? And I think the two things that changed a lot um, were that we've expanded the notion into a much more um, all-inclusive notion of what could go wrong with testing, uh, both in terms of messing up the interpretation and in terms of interfering with effective use. And a lot of that's gotten into fairness issues and other issues that weren't even considered originally. And the other thing that's happened, in, and these two have interacted with each other, is that when uh, validity notions were originally defined, um, we basically had one kind of test we were dealing with. You know, classroom tests typically, uh, and some admissions tests, and that was about it. But now we've got all sorts of tests that we're concerned about in terms of licensure, including certification exams, licensure exams, um, we have accountability uses. So the uses of the particular test and the kinds of tests and all of that has expanded. So the notion has gotten a lot more sophisticated and abstract and comprehensive than it was originally.